Will the Raiders next head coach come from out of house or is he already in the building? Yeah, Nick, a lot of big names have been thrown out there to be the next head coach for the Raiders, but I'm going to make the case that the next guy is right in front of us in Antonio Pierce. Well, Johnny, who could have it better than the Raiders? Nobody. I'm going to make the case of why the team could be better off hiring Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh. Let's start with the most obvious reason why AP is the best fit. The players love playing for him. Building a culture that players buy into is the hardest part of the job. And the Raiders star players have totally bought into Pierce. Players like Devontae Adams and Max Crosby have been vocal about their approval for Pierce and say the Compton, California native has shown what it means to be a Raider. You hear the, hear the fans, you hear the, hear the crowd and, and the way they respond to it. And uh, you know, it's, it's clear that he's changed the culture, you know, and it's uh, definitely deserving. It. You got a guy that's played at the highest level, won a Super Bowl, he's been a captain, and now he's a, a great coach and he's a leader. Um, it's hard to find leaders of men, so um, for us, we just need to keep building on top of, you know, the foundation we've already built. The numbers also back up Pierce's positive impact on the team. Since Pierce took over as the interim coach, the Raiders' defense was first in the NFL in points allowed, first in defensive touchdowns scored, and finished the regular season as the least penalized team in the league. There's no doubt getting the staff to help fix the offensive side of the ball will be a challenge for Pierce, and yet the Raiders were still competitive in every game under him. Is AP the blockbuster hire? Not really. But do the players and fans have his back? You bet. AP has certainly changed the culture, but Mark Davis reportedly wants a splash hire and a name respected universally in the coaching world. Jim Harbaugh fits the bill. After leading Michigan to three straight college football playoff appearances and earning the Wolverines' first national championship in a quarter century, Harbaugh is eyeing a potential return to the NFL. Remember, the now 60-year-old coached the 49ers to the Super Bowl in 2013 compiling a record of 44-19-1 as San Francisco's head coach. No and like Pierce, Harbaugh was an accomplished player in the league, making 140 career starts at quarterback for five teams over 14 seasons. Since hanging it up in 2001, all he's done is win on the sideline, starting as the Raiders quarterback coach in the team's Super Bowl run in 2 Coach Harbaugh is such a phenomenal coach, and if you look up, just his legacy as a player and as a coach. You know, he's won everywhere he's gone. And maybe it took a couple years, but coach at the end of the day is a winning coach and he's won every single place he's been to. And so who wouldn't want him? According to recent reports, the Raiders do want him and Harbaugh has made the interest mutual. If given the opportunity to hire an offensive minded coach with proven success grooming quarterbacks, the silver and black may want the jump on it. Well, Johnny, just like the Raiders, Harbaugh has ties to the San Francisco Bay Area. Of course, the Raiders coming from Oakland and not only being the 49ers head coach, Harbaugh was also the Stanford head coach. You know, Nick, those are all really good points and the Raiders are going to take into account all of them. The bad thing about that is, though, they don't have that much time. We saw today that the Titans fired Mike Vrabel. They are already making moves. They just requested to interview Antonio Pierce. So not only do the Raiders not have time on their side, they have some competition too. The Raiders have competition. AP and especially Harbaugh starting to be hot commodities in this coaching carousel. It should be fun to watch to see where AP and Harbaugh end up. But for now, we'll send it back to you guys.